What's up, Leo Collective? Thank you for joining me for your energy reading. If it's your first time joining me, my name is Kita. And if you are a return viewer, welcome back. I am going to be doing um, a reading for you guys using the Star Codes Astro Oracle deck, um, where I will be sharing with you its commentary on um, the Leo nature. And then I'm going to be clarifying that message with... Um, the power of love and the angels of wisdom tarot so we're gonna get some specifics i'm being led to uh pull or read from the um star codes astro oracle deck each of the zodiac signs for this particular round of readings because what has been coming to me intuitively is that um, there are a lot of things that are innately within us. And as we are evolving and ascending, we are becoming more of um, those traits that are in our sun sign. Or those traits that are somewhere in our chart. Uh, we're beginning to identify with and become more aware of and exude and embody those traits. So in order to connect with it in that way in order to be intentional about um embodying that energy we need to be aware we need to know you know what i'm saying what traits are synonymous with leo energy or what traits are uh, synonymous with being an aries or having an aries moon or you know what i'm saying so um just using the opportunity to provide some awareness uh, as it relates to the zodiac signs. And then it tends to get a bit more particular. Sometimes I have like downloads and songs and things of that nature that come to mind. And I was just about to say I don't have any, but I just remembered that I do have, I did, um, I was getting in the car uh, when I was leaving work the other day. And the song that was playing was... Um, it's a song by Sade that I do not hear often. And I think it's called I Really Love You. But it goes, I do really, really love you. Yeah, I really don't know the song. Hold on. <laughs> it's a real, like, chill song. Sade. Oh. Love is stronger than pride is what it's called. And <laughs> somebody asked, what is the saddest song of Sade's? And they said that one. I don't think her music is sad at all. Like, I think it's poetic and it's beautiful. And everything ain't got to be goddamn shoot your mommy in the face. Let's go fuck and go have fun the baby. Like, <laughs> everything ain't got to be rah-rah or, you know, make you want to twerk. So as one who appreciates different uh, genres of music and different uh, modes and mediums of music, I resent them for saying that. Help us. Um, the verse says, I won't pretend that I intend to stop living. I won't pretend I'm good at forgiving, but I can't hate you, although I have tried. I still really, really love you. Love is stronger than pride. Sitting here, wasting my time, would be like waiting for the sun to rise. It's all too clear things come and go. Sitting here waiting for you would be like waiting for winter. It's going to be cold. There may even be st snow. And then there's the part where she says over and over, I still really, really love you. Love is stronger than pride. And she says that over and over. And on the twin flame journey, um, that is one thing that I think many individuals are coming to understand that love is stronger than pride that pride and ego will um make every attempt to get in the way uh but as the journey unfolds and as people evolve and elevate and become aware of their shadows become aware of their light become aware of their worth um and alignment the pride loses the, <laughs> the the race, you know what I'm saying? The pride loses its stronghold because it can never overcome love. Love conquers all, including pride and ego. So um, 
if you resonate with the message so far or the words to that song, just know that in your particular situation, uh, love is stronger than pride. And for those of you who have been just off 511, um, the conflict that you are experiencing is coming to teach you. And it's coming to teach your, your counterpart, the person whom you have a spiritual connection with, that in order for things to change, it takes conflict. It takes um, disagreements. It takes separation. It takes uh, being triggered for many in order for each individual to see where they mirror each other for each individual to take assessment of whether or not they're showing up as their best self or being treated um, the way they deserve and desire to be treated. Um, all of these things come to to teach us. And so, man, I cut the air off. Now I'm hot as fuck. But I don't want the air on. It was too cold. <laughs> like, no matter what I had it on, it was too cold. Um... But yeah, I am um, going to be sharing with you guys the uh, commentary of the Leo energy, which Leo is a fire sign. Um, so that may be speaking to the fiery nature of this connection and how somehow it's like something has happened that has caused some separation or has caused some dissension or something. But forgiveness is there in some way or should be there somebody's being called to forgive um and not allow their pride to get in the way and sometimes in these situations the forgiveness needs to play take place within like the other person been done forgave us whether we didn't ask for the forgiveness or apologize or not but then we need to forgive ourselves and sometimes it's like you need to forgive for uh the offense that was taken or needing to forgive because you allowed yourself to be mistreated in a situation so needing to forgive yourself for that but whatever the case forgiveness is a central theme especially with this um eclipse we just had a solar eclipse in libra yesterday which speaks to having balance and truthful communication and harmony justice in relationships um and so for some of us, forgiveness is coming up as we are seeking to have more balance in our connections. Um, but Leo, represented by the number five, the Leo energy is that of shining. It says shine for the benefit of all. Leo's lion symbol asks you to be brave, be visible, share from your heart and warm all of those around you. Leo is a fixed fire sign ruled by the sun and is connected to the heart, liver, and upper back. The sun shimmers here July 21st through August 22nd. Take your space, be visible, light up the room, but also honor the light within others. Leo asks you to be the hearth fire of the situation. Hold other people's attention, not just for your own ego, but for their benefit as an actor or teacher would do. Warm their lives and be the person that people gather around to share stories. Bask in the sun. Cultivate your community with love. Share the bounty of your culture. Renew your spirits by living life to its fullest. Be honest rather than modest. Again, I, say, I said that truthful communication that this eclipse is um, promoting... <laughs> in a way for some but for some you're being forced whether it's your emotions and your passion is so intense or you're just put in situations where you're having to speak your truth uh but be honest rather than modest dramatize the situation to get your point across do the most <laughs> if that's what it takes to get your point across so it's like if you got feelings for somebody shine don't don't try to be modest go all out buy flowers jewelry candy dates you know what i'm saying you need to apologize you're asking for forgiveness do the most to show that person that you really mean um business and that you really want their forgiveness and that you consider yourself worthy of their forgiveness and and that they are worthy of you asking for forgiveness but whatever it is that this message this energy is calling you to do do it full out balls to the wall don't try to be modest about it um 
just be sure to track where the truth ends and hyperbole begins. Hyper that's hyperbole. That is not a hyperbole. It's not a word. Hyperbole begins. Connect your expression and creative process to real feelings and honest facts. Be creative about how you feel. Be creative in expressing yourself. Um, but don't be so creative that you start lying. You know what I'm saying? You start putting too much on it. Just be honest about how you feel, but but express yourself in a creative way. Uh, teach, share, and be generous with what you know, are, and have. And know that those actions attract the love and appreciation you need. Then offer that same level of attention to others and they will love you for it. People deeply appreciate being seen by you. Learn when to shine and when to step back and center another person, idea, or community. So like the song said, love um, is stronger than pride. And Leo energy can represent ego and pride. But that shit can't, does not stand a chance when the love is real. Uh, when it's pure and when it's strong, love is always going to endure and love is always going to conquer. Um, the challenge of Leo energy is if you're acting from a place of soul hunger, you can mistakenly think that any attention from others will fill that gaping hole. Not all attention is good attention. Stubbornness, the fear of being wrong, or the desire to be seen as the leader may blind you to what is urgently needed. Melodrama can disconnect you from the real feelings involved. Just being authentic. Again, that's ego if you caught up in being the leader. If you caught up in being um, stubborn or allowing fear to hold you back or, or reacting from a place of fear. No, come from your heart. Leo rules the heart. Come from uh, a place of love in your approach to... Uh, not only love, but like your your projects, the things that you uh, are passionate about, your creative expression. You always want to come from a place of love and be mindful of being melodramatic. Um, the gift of Leo energy is love. Leo rules the heart. So bring your energy and intention into your heart and let this chakra become a beacon. Honor the heart within each person you meet and watch the dynamic sh shift. So often, especially if we have not done the work to um, the self-love work and honoring ourselves, we have these like superficial relationships where the last thing we even paying attention to is the next person's heart space. They're being mindful of their emotions and uh, connecting with them from a heartfelt space what comes from the heart reaches the heart but when we have these superficial connections we could care less about their heart we say shit that hurt their feelings we do things that don't honor their feelings but this is not the approach <laughs> that is being um promoted and advised um not ever but especially not at this time so um i'm gonna clarify this message to see what in particular are we talking about we know it's a love connection we do know that but spirit please clarify this leo message at this time nine of cups wish fulfillment somebody knows what they want they have a, a dream come true right before them you know what i'm saying something that they're satisfied with they're in a place of contentment with something this nine of cups energy is wishes come true your dreams become reality a magical time of life good fortune faith in the universe that all will be well in this image here you have a, a eagle which is the gift of being able to see things from a higher perspective you have a dove which represents peace you have the yin and yang symbol, which represents um, balance and um, the integration of masculine and feminine energy as well as peace. Um, you got diamonds and a few other like gemstones, so like earthly riches and um, uh, crystallized energy. You have, and like healing, you have a, um, what is that called? 
of all the times that I can't think of what this thing is called, a, a caduceus. There's an image of a caduceus in one of the cups, a heart, um, angel wings, which speaks to the protection of the ancestors and the spirit guides and the angelic frequency that surrounds this connection. You got the light of the sun and you also have what looks like a piece of paper, like a scroll. Um, and then there's Aladdin's lamp at this guy's uh feet because at some point he made a wish whether it was consciously or subconsciously and that wish has come true and he not only has um that wish but he has it like in abundance with all of this being offered he's being able to see the positive um in this gift that the divine is gifting him so you got the nine of cups at the top of the deck. You have wise counselor represented by or equivalent to the Hierophant. Unity with a spiritually minded community. Ask the divine for help and trust the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. So this is someone who with wise counselor, there's been some... Um, influence on this individual who is aware of a dream come true right um and it's a situation where they've learned a lot about what's the word i'm looking for traditionalism um like common structures you know what i'm saying so they've learned a lot about what is considered to be the status quo and they're going from believing in those things abiding by those things what is considered to be the norm for society and that influence it could be a therapist a friend a counterpart Somebody's helping them see the light of the light of day and the truth of the matter with Ace of Swords being at the bottom of the deck. This is somebody who knows the truth. The sword represents um, truth. This is very much symbolic of uh, the sword in the stone where, damn, I'm forgetting the story, but I've talked about it on the channel before. But with the sword in the stone, basically, several people were trying to get this sword out of this stone, but only the true king could get it out. This is somebody who has evolved to the point of now knowing the truth of their nature, now knowing the truth about a connection, now knowing the truth about uh, who and what they desire, and coming forward to speak that truth with communication coming forward. So I don't know if this is the person who feels that uh, love is stronger than pride and needing to forgive or if this is their counterpart. But whatever the case, it could be both. There, need, there may need to be some forgiveness on both parts. But whatever the case, this person is activated with this page of wands. And underneath the page of wands is the sun. They are clear. They are clear on this new love with the ace of uh cups ready to start something new and ready to be generous and emotionally expressive because you got the king of pentacles and the king of cups and underneath the king of <laughs> underneath the king of cups is emotionally mature this person is sitting on this boat, but they at the edge of this um this shore and they're ready to like face their emotions and show up in a more emotionally mature way. You got the king of swords. Again, one who is um logical and sound and operates in truth and communicates the truth. Because they see things from a different perspective. Awakening equivalent to the hangman about a queen of pentacles the counterpart to the king of pentacles because they both are meant to have and experience abundance with one another but what had to take place that ego death with ego those chains had to be cut and they had to tap into their divine femininity 
You got all this masculine energy that came out. You literally got the King of Cups, the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles. Which one missing? The King of Wands. He the only one missing. But the King of Wands comes through with that fiery, passionate, um, sexual, and creative energy. And he's also uh, very much a visionary. But I feel like he didn't show up with all these, th these three kings in a row that came out because... Now that this person, the truth of the matter, what they desire, their, their wish fulfillment, their dream come true. Now that that's clear by way of the energy of the sun, somebody went through a major transformation by way of the um, the energy and the light codes that came through during the summer solstice. Um, that king of wands energy they already got that. They've been in that energy. You know what I'm saying? It's this king of pentacles, king of cups, king of swords energy that they really came into by way of this awakening, by way of this um, pause, this enlightenment, this ascension process that has led them to see things differently and go through an uh, ego death. This is beautiful. And even though... The King of Wands didn't show up. The motherfucking Ace of Wands did. A passionate new beginning. Somebody has been activated. And they're coming forward with a tangible offer to restore what? Balance to this love uh, connection. Balance being the equivalent to temperance. And they're coming through with a uh, romantic offer. Page of Cups. They're ready to get some shit started. And possibly asking for forgiveness, um, an offer of reconciliation of some sort. I'm going to close this out with the power of love, Oracle. <sighs> Clear. Baby, love is stronger than pride. They thought they were going to hold on to that pride for dear life. And it's crazy because Leo is represented by the, the lion. And the lion represents pride as well. But see, that's when you're in your shadow aspect. When you're in your light aspect and not your shadow, you're shining. You're not allowing your ego to lead you. You're allowing your light and your heart um, to lead you in your decision-making. In the actions that you take when you surrender to the will of God. And surrender holding on to your creature comforts the things that help you comfortable in being blinded being bound that's why you saw in the ego card that it was a woman whose chains were being um cut and, and she was being liberated i can't make this shit up y'all when i tell y'all love what i do i love what i do and when it comes to being gifted like my spiritual gifts can't nobody question <laughs> can't nobody make me question my gifts because god shows me over and over and over and over that i am truly gifted when it comes to this intuitive shit <laughs> forgiveness how many times have i said the word forgiveness in this reading somebody wants forgiveness and they view another as their dream come true and where they may have taken it for granted at one point, they know that they know that they know that they know by way of the bright light of the sun. They're very clear on what it is they want. So it says, you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. When this person was um, showing up in their egoic state or not showing up because of their ego letting their pride get in the way self-sabotaging and sabotaging this situation they were needing to they were at a point where their past hurts were being triggered but now that this person has done the work to release those past hurts and have been activated they're seeking forgiveness top of the deck cause and effect this is somebody who understands why shit has happened the way that it's happened and that everything to every uh cause there is an effect you are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an aimed 
agent of change and the foundation of your results. So this is someone who has to come to realize like, I'm not getting shit from this situation anymore. My supply <laughs> of love or, or lessons or just positive energy and light in this situation, my well has run dry because I haven't uh, invested in it. I haven't treated it right. I, fum I haven't treated it right. I fumbled the ball. Um, when it was running toward me, I ran from it or them. You know what I'm saying? So this person is more aware of where as a result of how they were showing up, they now have the outcome that they have, but it's not what they desire. That what they actually desire is uh, a more harmonious um, connection, a more harmonious outcome than that which they've gotten up to this point. But they know they, in order to get something different, they got to do something different, right? And at the bottom of the deck, freedom. Being free from that ego that had them bound. Being free from them, those circumstances that had them bound. Being free from caring what other people think and what other people have to say. Being free from worrying about what they're leaving behind uh, and, and how this situation caused them to evolve, to grow. Free from all the things that kept them limited. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. Being more open about how they feel. Being more open about how they've been activated and, and, and uh, have gone through an awakening. Being more open about love and, and their past experiences and what they desire going forward. Being more present. That's freedom. I love this for whoever resonates with this because it definitely shows uh, progress by way of freedom. It shows transformation underneath freedom. I can't make this shit up. Somebody has been bound, yo. Like, had so much shit that just had them tethered and broken. And you got somebody that's emerging from a period of separation free from all that shit that weighed them down and held them back. Ah, oh, this is dope. You use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. I told you, they weren't aware. But now that they are aware, they are a living testimony of that saying, when you know better, you do better. They didn't know what they didn't know when they didn't know. So I hope this message found y'all well, Leo. If it did not find you well, I hope that it leaves you well. If you'd like a... um personal reading feel free to email me at turquoisemajesty at gmail.com don't forget to like comment and subscribe happy um hoodoo heritage month to all my hoodoo peeps and until next time y'all peace